Right, so welcome everyone to the little vlog. I'm going to start doing monthly thing of what I've been up to now. I thought the first one I'm going to do is going to be a bit special. I'm actually at Westwood Lakes for a weekend for the Wind Festival. Now I've come, I've come twice before. It's a fantastic festival run by Tony. You have a great time, some great crack. But one thing I want to show you, one thing top about this festival, is the lodges. So I'm just going to spin it round now. Can you see? Just stood outside the lodge. So we got this for later on. Just open this bad boy up. So we got this for later on. A few beers in a hot tub. Lads there, there's cameraman Craig. Give us a wave, so He's ready for rock. And we'll just have a look at Skylark, so. We're on the festival, so it's a three-day festival across Falcon, Skylark, Osprey. No, not Osprey, Falcon, Skylark, Hawk and Swallow. So you have a rotation, one lake a day. Now this is Skylark, just outside our lodge. So I'm, not, I'm on here actually on Monday, but what I'm going to do is go through this run through every day in the morning when I've drawn what I think a little bit of match footage after the match how we're getting on maybe see our galley getting on Craig's on an open match on Sunday see how he gets on just go through good tactics just show you the experience really because it's a fantastic festival so one thing if anyone was interested in fishing it to get involved in it well that's looking down Skylark pubs just around there so be in there, late having a few carlins with Tony, but like I said, he runs a great festival. If you haven't been, hopefully you'll enjoy this experience of me showing you what it's like. I'll get on, a few tips and tricks along the way. Should be a good weekend, so I'm just going to wander back to the lodge now, have a few beers and get ready for tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone, so it's the first day of the Wind Festival and we've drew peg six on Falcon which it's a really nice peg to be honest it's on the first straight as you come up to Falcon it's a really good area so I'm happy bit of a draw bag but we're, we're, that's what we're here for we're here for good pegs so I feel a bit the worse for wear too many carlins in the pub last night but we had a good laugh so I'll just spin you around now there's actually just a fish top here so I'm just sat in the van one just topped down the middle so I'm thinking that's the peg there I'm thinking little approach I'm going to fish from what I learned yesterday, I'm going to fish maggots down the left hand edge, maggots short, up and down, and now I'm going to set up pellets across the start with, but I'm definitely going to have some micros with a bit of ground bait through it for three maggots on the hook for a cross, try and get in the shallowest water, see what we can catch. So I'll get to the peg, I'll go through some rigs before we start. I've got a little bit of time, I think we've got an hour and a half, so I said not feeling the best, but no fault. So what I'll do is I'll just go through some rigs and then we'll get a bit of match footage and then we'll see how we get on the end. So we're gonna get set. So we're all weighed in now from the match today and I've ended up with £60 which has won the section so it's a good start to the festival. Sorry I didn't get the rigs on but I just ran out of time. 
bit slow getting to my peg, probably because of the few carlins we had the night before. But no, I've had a nice, interesting match. It's been very difficult for Westwood standard, standards here on this festival on the first day. I've had £60 and I've caught mainly fishing maggots at 30 metres just with the 4 by 10 F1 maggot, tapping 10 maggots and just sitting there and being patient, taking what fish I could. I've had 30 fish, so I've had a nice day's fishing, really interesting, and it was really difficult to get right. And I feel like I got it right late on, but I was a bit too slow to change, but it's important. I feel like you're in the right, right frame of mind for a festival of fishing, making a few decisions, persevering with lines and making the most of my chances. So section win on the first day, more than I can ask for. Now I'm coming, I'm coming tomorrow onto Hawk or Swallow. Now I've just come for a walk round to Hawk now. I'll just spin it round for you. I'll try not to make it all dizzy. So this is the Hawk pool which you could be on tomorrow. So this is peg one here, on a nice big bridge. And there's peg 20s the other side of it. And then the top end there's another, where it comes back round, there's another two points. So it's nice to see. I think this lake, if you draw it, it's gonna be a bit of hard pellet fishing across, edge work for some carp and maybe some maggot short and stuff for barbel. So it'll be an interesting late. Hopefully I can uh, keep drawing as well as I've done today on Peg Six Falcon, but I really enjoyed today's match. And like I said, it's nice just to get in a little mind frame of little tactics and making decisions, hopefully for tomorrow. It's all to play for still. We've got one point, so we're gonna go at it tomorrow. So I'm gonna go for, I think we're going for a curry tonight with the lads, a few beers again, hot tub, and then we'll come back in the morning. I'll probably do it before the draw tomorrow morning then maybe try and film the draw so we'll come back tomorrow morning and we'll catch up with you there i've got a bit of prep to do as well because i haven't got many hooks so i'll catch you tomorrow guys right so you join me on the morning the second day of the wind festival and we drew peg 11 on the hawk pool so when we had a little walk around yesterday the hawk pool it, it which end i was at was i'm at the other end on the right hand side it looks nice a few people say it's a really good peg so i feel like i've drawn well again but Got a tough section this time. Got Lee Hodgkinson on peg 20, which won the match yesterday. Got Christian on nine. There's a fellow on peg 10. Tony Winnick's on peg one. So it's going to be an interesting match, and I think I've got my work cut out. But I think the approach is going to be probably a bit of a cross fishing, maybe a bit of bread, because that's how Paul Brandit won the match yesterday. So well done to him. But I think it'd be a bit of bread dobbing, maybe tapping some maggots in a few lines short and across. So we'll get set up, and then we'll do a little footage of the video, and then we'll catch up at the end of the match. But hopefully and get the section when we need. So we're all weighed in from the match now on here on the wind fist on the second day. And as you've seen before, I was on peg 11 on the hawk pool. And now I've had a fantastic match. I've really enjoyed it. I started on bread. I cut 13 carp dobbing on bread. And then I needed to feed some bait. So I've fed some hard pellets. It's not really worked. I've missed a few bites, liners, odd foul looking. Not many though, but it's not been right. So what I've done then, dropped on the trap line where I was throwing my maggots short. Had a few fish there make one or two shallow on the bottom but it was really slow going and then eventually i've gone to my right because i've had a bit of room to that way I've gone to this pampas at 14 and a half meters and tapped some maggots in like the day before and i managed to keep catching there some really good carp until the end and i've ended up with 58 fish and i've had 172 pound now believe it or not this is second in the section by lee hodgson he's had 174 on peg 20 so well done pal awesome display so we've had a lovely match maybe a bit of disappointment from not winning the section but we've got a second there it's not too bad it keeps us in a hunt if anyone else has it doesn't get a section win tomorrow but we're going to skylight which is fishing a bit iffy so it's going to be all to play for tomorrow so we'll catch you up in the morning i will try and get up a bit early this time it's a bit of a nightmare with charging the gopro so we get catch up go through a few key things before we start the match and hopefully we get a peg we can win a section off tomorrow and maybe frame in a festival but it's been enjoyable it's been a nice couple of days now we're going to go out for another go to the pub for a little bit something to eat just enjoyable and if like i say if you want to come on these festivals this is like a little insight of what goes on i'll do a little more 
round up when I've finished the festival things I've learned and what I've learned because I feel like I've learned a lot and I'm making a few decisions so it's been it's been a good day nice to get in the Hawk pool it's really nice late that actually there's some really good stamp fish in there so I really enjoyed it so we'll catch up with you tomorrow right so on the final day of the wind fest and it's my turn to be on skylark and we've drawn peg 21 so what i'm going to do just show you the peg now and go around so this is peg 21 skylark this is like the end of the skylark here so peg 20 z 19 and then my section runs from i think it's 19 18 16 rounds of me so there's four people in our section so we've got jake there ian there and then we've got some further down so i think with skylark fishing so hard what i'm going to do is I'm going to try and fish maggots short here, maggots to the island, and then up and down these edges on maggots. Just tapping in 10, that seems to be a good method this week. Just tapping in a few maggots, catching a few fish. But that's the peg. If we get a bit of footage, just set up now, I'm just waiting. Put my nets in. But that's a long, I've got a long edge up that way, I've got a bit of room that way. It's a bit narrow here by the island, but it's a good little area, hopefully. So there's a few fish moving. Hopefully we get enough and they get a section win. I think we're going to need a section win to try and sneak in last sort of the money, top five maybe. There's five people on two points, so like yesterday that two pound could be costly, but it's one of them. It's fishing, it happens, it goes your way sometimes, it doesn't go your way other times. Flea's, Flea's fished a lovely match, to be fair, and he's done really well. So there's a few fish pimpling around here, so hopefully got the old F1 maggot set up. This has probably been the best rig of the week, a four for ten. 10, 10 holler, just a little strung out pattern. It's nice and nice and simple. So we're gonna get on with the match now. Just gotta put a few things together, riddle my ground bait, sort my maggots out, and then we'll get fishing. So I'll just do a little thing and then we'll catch up at the end. How we've got on then and obviously the overall how the festival's gone, what we've learned, now we've got a <laughs> today we fished the match here at Weston today but just going to talk about my last day on Skylark. Now with Skylark fishing a bit iffy I think maggots or well, maggots were the bait everyone was catching on so I literally just set up six meters down to my right about 40 meters and six meters to my left because there's an angle to my left so I couldn't go too far up the bank. Now I started down that edge for one little F1 about a pound things were quite difficult and I went across on maggots and one thing that was apparent is I couldn't hold my rig still. Now because the wind was skidding across the lake coming from my left to right, the rig was just tripping through and it didn't feel right because the shells were all a bit weird there. It was just I felt like I was dropping off the shelf and it wasn't staying in the place long enough to catch them. So what I've done then I've dropped down the middle, had a good run down the middle, say four or five fish, and then I've then concentrated on the edge. Now I've gone 40 metres up the edge just by this pampas and there's a bit of rubbish on the bottom. I'll be coming back of the hook, so I've replumbed up to 16 metres. It's a bit of a pain on that angle, but there's the only way we're going to get bites. Gone in there in front of the pallet just before the leg, and I've had a great run there. Probably had eight carp, a few F1s, 
just to tie me over and it's been a nice day. I may drop down the middle of a few cattle there. So I ended up with 25 fish which went to £58. This won the section so it left me fourth overall in the festival. So Pazza was third, Chris Weddle was second and Eddie Howman I think it was. Ed, Eddie someone. Eddie, I'm in terrible names. Eddie won the uh, festival. They all had three points so I was best of the rest on four. Now looking back I thought driving home that the pound or two pound cost me on hawk, but it actually didn't because Eddie actually had a bigger weight than myself, so I'd have finished second anyway by like five pounds. So I would have had the same scenario. So really enjoyed Westwood. It was really tricky fishing. It's, that second day on hawk was a lovely day, catching a cross on maggots, a few on bread early. But last day I really enjoyed as well. It was quite tricky, just tapping in ten maggots, sitting away and being patient. It was just a nice way to end the festival. Big thank you for Tony and his team for running a great festival. We had a great laugh, and to be fair, looking forward to spring. And if, like I said, if you haven't been before, check out Windfest on Facebook if you want to book on and get on it in March. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification so you don't miss any future videos.